Hey guys, Shane Starnes here with DroidForums.net. You know me better as DroidModderX, and today I have an awesome video for you guys. I know that a lot of you guys went out uh, yesterday and the day before and you purchased a Droid 4, and now all you want to do is root it, right? The very first thing I do with the phone when I take it out of the box is there is a an available method as I root my phone because I don't want my phones locked down right and if you're like me you want your phone rooted so that you can do all kinds of things to your device uh, that otherwise you wouldn't be able to do uh, like you know Wi-Fi tethering adding custom ROMs adding clockwork mod recovery all these awesome cool things that we can do so a uh, fellow by the name of D Junior Bliss also known as Dan Rosenberg has already come out with a easy method for rooting your Motorola device. So if you'll click down in the link in the description, it'll bring you to this page here. And what you want to do is click where it says grab the exploit here. And uh, you will, let's see here. You'll just click where it says the Windows version of the exploit can be downloaded here. And that should download the Motofill windows.zip. As soon as that finishes downloading, you just uh, open that and extract that to the desktop. This is a simple one-click root process. Uh, Dan Rosenberg is also the fellow that's known for rooting the Droid Bionic. Where did that say? Okay, Motofill, that's what we're looking for. He rooted the Droid Bionic, the Droid 3, uh, and several other Motorola devices. So the Droid Razor, this guy, if you've got a Motorola phone and it's rooted, it's probably because of Dan Rosenberg. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open that. But before we do anything, on our phone, we want to go to uh, Settings, Applications, Development, and check this box that says USB Debugging. Just go ahead and check that, select Yes, and you can go back home. And now you want to plug in your USB cable. Make sure you use the one that came with the phone or any other Motorola USB cable. So we'll just set this to the side here. And we're going to click Run. So this Run.bat, just double click that. Should open up our program. Now this should automatically install your drivers. If it doesn't, you'll need to uh, install your USB drivers. It says, I tested on Droid 3, Bionic, Droid Razor, and the Droid 4. Before continuing, ensure USB debugging is enabled, that you have the latest Motorola drivers installed, and that your phone is connected via USB, and then press any key to continue. Okay, so it's found the device, and it's going to go ahead and begin the rooting process. If it doesn't find your device, uh, then you will need to get those USB drivers installed. Like I said, it should happen as soon as you plug in your device. If not, you can Google uh, Motorola USB drivers. So you'll need either the version for your 32 uh, or either a 64 megabit version, whatever version of Windows you're on. Make sure you get the correct version. Uh, it's going to go through the process and reboot the phone a couple of times. This is similar to the Pete's Root tools if you've ever rooted a Droid X or any other Motorola phone. So it should run through this process. And I'll just go ahead and show the whole entire process so that you guys can kind of see exactly what takes place here. And it's waiting for the phone to reboot. And there it goes again. Of course, you know that pesky Verizon page is going to load up. So it says exploit complete rebooting the phone. So I'm guessing when it reboots this time we should have super user and uh, we should be rooted. So just wait on this thing to reboot and see what we get. This root method looks like it only takes about five minutes. And on previous devices, uh, some of the devices took several weeks to several months to gain their root. But we had a root method before the phone was even released. So uh, rooting has come a long way since the early days. And now we pretty much expect to have root on the first day.
Okay, so let's press any key to continue. And so we're done. Now I should be able to pick up my phone and unplug it, and we should have root. Let's see what we got. Go to apps. We should have an SU. Right there we do. Okay, so now let's head to the market real quick and just test this. Okay, it says I have to have an account. Let me set it up real quick. We're going to sign in real quick. And we're going to download Root Checker and make sure that we have... Okay, so we're just going to search for Root Checker. And download that real quick. And check and make sure that we do have Root. So we'll open that up and verify root access. And hey, there we have it. It's asking for super user permission and it says congratulations, this device has successfully been rooted. So guys, uh, just in one simple click, you are rooted on your Droid 4, thanks to Dan Rosenberg. And uh, if if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You can check out droidforums.net for all the latest in Android news. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks, guys, for watching.